Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will discuss how to use IAM roles to delegate access to resources in different AWS accounts. For the demo of this video, I have created two AWS accounts named Production and Development. We will share S3 bucket created in the Production account with the users in Development account. We will see how the users in Development account can use switch role to access S3 buckets in the production account. So let's get started. So we have uh, an account named production and another AWS account named development. And in the production account we have this S3 bucket uh, and in this S3 bucket uh, applications are stored our production applications are stored in this S3 buckets and in the development account we have two groups IAM groups named developers and testers in the developers IAM group we have a user called David who is a developer and in the testers IAM group we have a user called Jane who is a tester developers and testers use this development account to test uh, their applications in development account and we manage uh, our IAM users in the development account only in production account we do not uh, create or manage any IAM users all our IAM users are in the development account and uh, the production account can be accessed only by the administrators but from time to time our developer David need to update the live application in production account for which he needs to upload the new application version to our S3 bucket in the production account so to achieve this what we need to do the steps would be we need to create an IAM rule in the production account the name of the IAM role would be update app and this IAM role would have permission to view update and delete objects from this S3 bucket so this IAM role having this permissions will be able to access the S3 bucket So whoever, uh, whoever wants to access the S3 bucket should use this IAM role. Now this S3 bucket need to be accessed by our developer David. So he needs to use this IAM role to access the S3 bucket to upload the new version of the application in this bucket. So to achieve this what we do, what we need to do is we establish a trust relationship between production account and development account using this IAM role. So when we create the IAM role, we define the development account as a trusted entity and specify a permission policy that allows the trusted users to update the production app demo bucket. So the trusted users would be the users in the development account because when we create the IAM role during creation of the IAM role we will establish trust relationship between production account and the development account we will see how we create the trust relationship between accounts using IAM role in the demo in the upcoming demo so once this IAM role is created in the production account now our user can use this role or he can switch to this role which is also known as assuming the role this user David will assume this role and after assuming this role he would be able to do operations on this bucket what operations are allowed view update and delete so by assuming this role by switching to this role this user David can upload a new version of the production app in our S3 bucket and 
the testers the users in the testers group do not need to upload uh, the versions of the application into the s3 bucket so we will not uh, do any changes in the permissions of testers group in the demo we will see what all configurations we need to do to achieve this setup so let us now uh, go to the demo part now this is uh, the production account here you can see the name of the account is production and in the production account we have our s3 bucket so we have three s3 buckets so this is the bucket production app demo where we have our production app as zip file and this is our development account so in the development account, I go to IAM. In IAM, I have already created these groups, developers and tester. And in these groups, we have our users. In the developers group, we have the user David. And in the testers group, we have the user Jane. And let us check the permissions. So these users have permissions for S3 full access and AWS Lambda full access for this account, for development account. Similarly, the developer David, this group has permissions to access S3 and Lambda for this account, which is the development account. Now, let us now go back to our uh, slide. So in the production account, we need to create this IAM role. And with this IAM role, we need to attach a policy with permissions to view, update and delete from this S3 bucket. So let us now first create a policy with these permissions in our production account. Now I am in the production account. To create the policy, let us go to IAM. In IAM, go to policies, create policy, I have the JSON taken from the AWS documentation. So in this policy, what we are doing in the first statement, this first statement allows, uh, gives the permission list all my buckets to whoever uh, uh, assuming this uh, role the policy will be attached to a role and whoever assumes that role he will be allowed to list all the buckets and this statement allows to list bucket objects of a particular bucket so here we need to provide the ARN of our bucket so let us copy the ARN and paste it here now this third statement allows get object put object and delete object from this bucket which is our production app demo bucket next give a policy name let us say read write app bucket and create policy now we have created our policy so we need to create the IAM role and attach that policy to the IAM role let us now create the IAM role go to IAM roles create role now in the trusted entity type we need to select the AWS account here select another AWS account it says identifier of the account that can use this role so in our case this role need to be used by users in development account so in the trusted entity we need to provide the account ID of the development account so go to development account from this drop down copy the account id 
copy the account ID and paste it here. Next, add permissions. So here we need to add the permission, add the policy that we created, which was read write at app bucket. Next. The role name is update app create role so now we have created the role update app and we can see the permissions for this role are these are the permissions that we had given and in the trust relationship you can see this role has trust relationship with our development account which this is the account id of the development account going back to the slide now we have uh, configured this part now in the development account to modify the developers user group to allow them to switch to the update app role we need to go to the development account now so let us now go to the development account so this is our development account go to IAM we need to go to the IAM user groups go to user groups choose the developers account and in the permissions we will add permission and create inline policy and we will copy the policy here so this is our policy this policy allows allows assume role for this resource so this is the resource ARN which is the ARN of our role so let us copy the ARN from our production account so copy this role ARN and paste it here. So this policy now allows the developers group access to the update app role in the production account. Any developer who tries to access this role uh, will succeed to uh, access the S3 bucket using this role. Next give some name say s3 access in fraud create the policy so now the policy is created for this developers group so the users in this developer group would be able to assume the role in the production account so now uh, right now i have logged into this account as admin so let me log out and we will log into this account as the user David. So I will sign into the console as I am user and the account ID will be our development account ID. Username is David. Provide the password. Sign in. So if we go to S3, we can see the S3 buckets which are present in the development account. Now we need to access this user David need to access the S3 bucket in the production account. So we, what we will do, we will switch role. So if we see our slide, now this user David will switch role to use this update app rule so this user David will assume the update app rule so go to this drop down click on switch rule connection interrupted let me refresh it so switch role in the switch role we need to provide the account ID in which the role exists so we need to provide the account ID of our uh, production account. So 
so copy this account id from production account and paste it here i am role name role name is update app you can give any display name here it's this is optional let us say s3 access in production you can give a display color let me choose red click on switch role and now the now the role uh, is assumed we have switched to that update app role of production you can see here update app at the rate uh, the account id of the production account now if we go to s3 we can now see all the buckets that were in our production account so this is the bucket that we are interested in so click on this production app demo and now we can upload a new version of our uh, application here we are not able to we are now able to upload successfully the new version of our application in the buckets if you try to access any other bucket we will get error we get the error insufficient permissions to list objects because in the role we have only allowed access to our production app demo bucket so in this way we have seen how we can use iam role to access s3 bucket from a different account you can now also switch back to a uh, user david so in this way you can switch back and this role history will be preserved here if you need to again access the s3 bucket the user david can switch to that role we have only allowed the developers group to access to assume this role uh, the testers group is not allowed to assume the role so let us quickly test that as well so let me sign out from here and i will log back in as user jane who is in the testers group the account id is the development account id username is jane and give the password so i have lo now logged in as uh, user jane so now let us uh, try to switch to our role switch role account id account id of the production account copy the account id the role name is update app switch role so we get this error invalid information in one or more fields so we are not allowed to switch role because uh, this jane is part of the developers iam role so this was all about delegating access across aws accounts if you like the video please hit the like button and please leave your valuable feedback or comments in the comment box and if you have not already subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing thank you